I'm Kristen, and I'm gonna give you the do's and don'ts to get YouTube fame. And just because I don't have it, doesn't mean I don't know how to get it. Let's go. We'll do the negatives first, of course. How to get famous on YouTube the uncool way. Number one is making product placements for things that you really don't even care about. Hi, I'm Kristen Corpse, and I'm here to tell you why you should buy drenched in pink, sweet and flirty, super soft body lotion by Victoria's Secret. And I'm not only saying that because they paid me to do this. There's nothing more annoying than someone who has to buy their fame through only product placements and don't have any other sort of content. Oh, it smells like ass. Number two is act like a random idiot. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kristen, and I'm making a new random video. Insert my witty catchphrase here. Which can segue into number three, copying other YouTubers. Bye! Seriously though, like you really needed to steal someone's phrase? We all know whose it is. Number four is showing off your body in obvious ways. Oh yeah, you're only sucking on that popsicle seductively because it's hot outside. It's 20 degrees out, but I believe you. Number five is making jump cut videos in your bedroom. This is something I don't get because shouldn't they be getting in trouble for repeated acts of copyright infringement? Number six is making videos on topics that you can care less about. So this thing's been going around on Facebook, a lot of my friends have been posting about it. Something about a guy named Coney. I don't really know anything about politics, but I'm gonna give my input anyway. If you're gonna discuss a topic, talk about something you legitimately care about. Number seven is begging other people to promote you. Love me. Love me. This is something that will draw the people that you already have away. Nobody likes a spammer, and nobody likes that one guy who only talks to them when they need something. And finally... Number eight, which is using a well-known internet icon to get your name out there. I can't believe you. I've supported you from the beginning, been your friend through all of this, and now you're not going to help me out? Well, screw you, Michael Buckley. But actually get back to me, because I really want to do a collab with you. So yeah, just call me back whenever you get this message. Alright, bye. This is similar to the last one, but instead of using normal people, you're using internet famous people. Don't you feel special? And now that I'm done being a negative Nancy, here's how to get famous on YouTube the right way. Number one is a balance of quality and quantity. People want to see good videos, but they also don't want to see one good video a year. So instead of putting out mediocre stuff really often, try a couple really good videos for a month. Making a schedule works for some people, but sometimes it doesn't, so it really depends on the person. But never slack on a good idea, that is probably the worst mistake you can make. Because someone will come along and do it better than you. And believe me, that sucks. Number two is be yourself and be honest about the things that you're saying. If you're gonna do videos like me, be passionate about the advice you're giving. There are many different ways to get your message out there, and there are a lot of different styles you can play around with. You just need to find out what works best for you. Number three is eventually invest in better equipment if you're really serious about this. Don't be one of... those. Hey, what's up you guys? This is my first vlog, and I actually just got this new camera, and my mom bought it for me, and I don't really know how to use it yet. It turns much better. Now, anyway... There is nothing more irritating than someone who invests so much money into great equipment only to not learn how to use it correctly. Not everyone is that fortunate. And yet again, number four, which repeats itself because it's so important, be yourself. It's fine to have influences and people that you enjoy watching, but don't be a complete clone. You should try picking out certain qualities that you enjoy from each person and help it form your own style and your own person. Now doing this the honest way might take a little longer than the other way, but at least you're not taking advantage of such a great community and an awesome website. Do other people have morals like that, please? Are you out there? So what tips do you have for YouTube fame? Do you know how to get YouTube fame or are you completely clueless? Don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of me, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. Yeah, I'm going to be one of those. And that's all I have to say. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye guys.